Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's do this. <laughs> okay. So you, you, I don't know if you all know it or not, but it's really way past my bedtime. Actually, I get up in about um, four o'clock so I can go to the gym, but I just did a whole, <laughs> I just did a whole video and put it on the wrong page so I had to delete it and so then I started praying I was like God is you, that you telling me not to say what I was gonna say <laughs> so I got so embarrassed oh, so now I'm trying to decide should I say what I want to say anyway but I think I'm gonna still say it and I'm gonna say it and I'm gonna have fun with it this time so the situation started with me watching Love and Marriage Huntsville tonight and um, my name came up again and it's kind of to the point where it's like, I'm tired of hearing, hearing my name. Like, why do you keep saying my name? I'm like, dang, say my name, say my name. Something wrong with you. You keep saying my name. It's like, why? Are you obsessed? I know you have that name. Um, your alter ego, they said, is Marcus. I mean, like, what's up with that? But anyway, so you, the thing tonight was about my sister having people keep the kids. So I guess I kept them for three hours while she went to a meeting or something. I don't even remember. Then she came back, we went swimming. So it sounds like the dude has a problem with the kids being around me. So, and then it was said, I don't want all these people influencing my kids. So, you know, I'm sitting here thinking like, is there something wrong with me? that's bad that's causing a person to not want children or their children to be around me. So let me explain to y'all a couple of things. My older sister has two kids. One is 15 years younger than me, so he is 40, 38. He's older than the boy that I'm talking about now. He lived with me for a, a school year. I kept him when he was a baby before I graduated and went to college. My other nephew, which is his brother, is 28, 29, I guess. He lived with me. The oldest one is married with five kids. The youngest one has two kids. And they're doing very well. So my, another sister, Ivy, her kids come stay with me every summer. And um, it's never been a problem. So it's just interesting to me that this dude has a problem with some kids being around me, like something's wrong with me. And I'm like, no, it's not me, it's you, dude. You the asshole, it's not me, because people that have been around me have all been successful. Uh, turned out to be pretty good. And those kids that have been around me, when they show out, the oldest one, 38, other one is 28, 29, or something like that. When they were, did something wrong, they got a whooping. Um, one was living with me. I was a teacher in Fulton County. He was in school in Fulton County, threw an airplane at the teacher. I left the school, went to the school, got him, took him home, and whooped his behind. Didn't have no more problems with him in the, in a, throwing something at a teacher. One thing about me, I don't play with kids at all. I never have, and I never will. When I taught school, you talk to my students, they'll tell you I didn't, you know, I joked around, and they knew that I cared about them and loved them, but I didn't play. When I say I want them to do something, I wanted them to do it. So, what I'm going to do is show a little comparison. You know, I'm a teacher, so I like to do visuals. So, I'm going to, I'll put this up here and let you guys see it in just a minute, because I know if I put it this way, it's going to be backwards. Um, so, I'm going to have to flip this thing around. And after I do this, I'm going to bed, because I'm normally up at 4 o'clock to go to the gym. But I couldn't even sleep, because I just got pissed off. And it's sad that I let an asshole piss me off. Somebody who has nothing going for him, um, who ain't about nothing. And he, everybody knows that and can see it. But I'm going to flip this thing around real quick so you can see. Hopefully I can do it right and you can see what I'm writing. So up here. Can y'all see my board? No, 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 no. Okay, it's the wrong way. 
Okay, right here. So, we got Mr. Asshole. He have a BS degree in 2008. I think he was probably in his middle 20s when he finally graduated from school. You got me, the one who I guess is a bad influence. Uh, BS in accounting. And just stick with me for a few minutes. I just want to show you something. And, I, and people know I don't know. I don't normally even do this. This is a let's go with the masters of the air first, because I don't really boast about anything that I do. I just do it and let my work speak for me. Education specialist. Leadership. And admin. All right. So, you know, right there. That's not even all of it. There's some more I could put up there, but I'll just stop there. So then I was looking, little dude, asshole, took real estate courses. I checked Alabama, no license. So basically a failure. Even at that, you've been a failure. Real estate over here since 2005. Broker now own business, licensed, Alabama and Georgia. Okay, so that's the one you don't want to have a bad influence on somebody. All right, let's go a little bit further. Asshole, landscaping company. I think it got started around 2009. Disbanded. Okay, let's go up here. Utah school for two years. You could even stick with that. I did it for 27 and retired from it. But you don't want the kids to be around me because of influence. Let's go a little bit further. Let's talk about home building business. I don't even know what it's called because I really don't care. Normally, I don't care. Home building business. Disbanded. And it wouldn't have been in existence probably if my sister didn't have the darn license to get whatever needed to be done done because she was the intelligent one running around here talking about what you do and who you are you can't even pass a simple ass test dumbass all right so over here i did say i have a travel okay yeah travel agency since 2008 still in existence you can't keep a business for, for 10 years. All right. Let's keep going. Asshole. Marriage. Disbanded. You can't even keep a marriage together. Okay. Over here. Relationship. 14. Married. 6. At least it's stability. You don't even have stability. All right, let's keep going a little bit further. Criminal. ATM. And I'll say this, where there is fire. I mean, where there is smoke, my bad. I am told you I'm sleepy. There is fire. So we can say, oh, we're no charges. Da, 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 da. We know it's some, 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 some fire somewhere, all right? Never been in handcuffs. But you don't want children to be around me because of a bad influence. All right, let's keep going. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gay. And you're always talking about you support the LGBT community and all this bull. But you really don't because that's the whole purpose why you say you don't want the kids around me, I'm assuming, because that's a bad influence. Whatever they are, they're going to be regardless of me. I grew up with a mom and a daddy, a mom and a stepdaddy, but I still turned out how I am. They grew up with a whore, an asshole, a narcissist. And a failure. And they're going to be who they're going to be. 
hopefully you won't influence them. Because when I look at the two and compare the two, to me, the one looks better than the other. Uh, what y'all think? Let me flip this thing around. Now I'm going to be arrogant. One look better than the other. Even at 53 in December, that little thing about 41, wearing them children clothes, looking a mess. So I look better on paper and in person. Take that. So when you don't want kids to be around me, think about this right here. I want you to think about that every time you got a problem with, a, with influence. And then you check my record with my nieces and nephews, not your children, my other nieces and nephews. And let's talk about how successful all of them are and how, how well they turned out being around me. And they respect me. And when I tell them to do something, even at 30 something years old, they do what I tell them to do because the respect is there. Now, if you want to raise some fools that don't respect adults, that's on you, but they can't be around me. Because when I tell a child to do something, whoever it is, niece, nephew, cousin, somebody across the street, they're going to do what I ask them to do because it would never be something that'll hurt them. Unlike what you've done to hurt them. Destroy a marriage. Destroy a home. I can, I can, I can just keep going, but I ain't going to do it because I got to get up at 4 in the morning. I got to go to the gym. Anyway. And let me say this, how do you put this thing back on me? If you say something, trying to be a smart ass, I'm gonna let you know I know people from the North, the South, the East and the West. I've been in this thing for about 30 something years. I'm gonna pull out every video and every picture that I got that concerns you and the situations that you've been in. Why you so concerned and got a problem with gay people. I think I know why you got a problem with gay people. I think I know. <laughs> I'll just show it next time. So anyway, you guys, y'all have a good night. Maybe I can go to sleep now and get some rest because I let an ass mess up my whole night. I'm normally sleep by 9.30. <sighs> anyway, pray my strength.